So, if I understand, if I if I now dig deep uh, these points into detail, so this is the these are the main points uh, which uh, I have listed here. Operators want to push new features or services in the network frequently. Okay, so notice the highlighted words. The features and services were required in earlier generations also, but now they are required more frequently. Okay, and how they can be achieved? For this to happen, this require frequent software upgrade of applications. So either VNF or CNF, you require frequent software upgrade. If you want to achieve point number one, that means if you want to push new features or services frequently in your network, you have to upgrade the software of your applications, right? And the biggest challenge in a live network is to upgrade a software without downtime. This is the biggest challenge. So a VNF software, um, in case of VNFs, the upgrade generally, in, in inverted commas, in most of the cases, a VNF upgrade requires termination and then instantiation of the whole VNF. Okay. So when you terminate a VNF, uh, it requires downtime. Okay. Because you are terminating it. Uh, all the services will be gone. Okay. And uh, either you have to take downtime, you have to take a maintenance window, uh, an outage window for that or if you do not want a downtime you should have a geo redundancy of your vnf that means the whole copy of vnf should be available in another uh, data center also so that you can switch off from one place and you switch on that uh, that vnf uh, from another data center okay but that is a costly affair so you need just double the infrastructure uh, just for your maintenance purpose so this is all this can also not be done by every operator right so so this is like uh, terminating the the vm and creating a new one so this is just showing it so we need a system which can live upgrade live upgrade means without downtime it should upgrade the application and allow the portability of the code this is also very important point to any infrastructure so when I say code, I mean the application. And when I say applications here, applications means my telco nodes, my SGSNs, my GGSNs, my PGW, my SGW, my uh, my task servers, my RAN nodes, okay, if, if they are virtualized. So every application here means the telco application, one telco box. So we need a system now which should have these two characteristics. It should live upgrade without downtime. And it should allow the portability of the code to any infrastructure. That means without any dependency on the underlying infrastructure, my code should be able uh, to, to get deployed on any infrastructure of my choice. So let's say if I choose today uh, uh, OpenShift, I should be able to migrate my whole application from OpenShift to Tanzu. From Tanzu to let's say Nokia NCS from Nokia NCS to let's say uh, Google Kubernetes engine on public clouds. So doesn't matter what is the underlying infrastructure, but I need the portability of the code. I cannot adjust my infrastructure every time for uh, as per the code, right? So that's where containers come to our rescue. Okay. And uh, because contain we are talking about containers, so it is impossible to talk about containers without Kubernetes because you need a manager for these containers and Kubernetes is that manager or orchestrator for that matter.